we're right in the middle of summer and some of you girls have asked for a really fresh smoky eye I feel like I'm actually done this look a couple of different times but using some different products but this is definitely one of my go-to smoky eyes where I enthrall a lot of shimmer a lot of sparkle but we ultimately end up with an amazing smoky eye and yes girls you can have a smoky eye that is not black it's not gray it's not brown Throw in some pops of color, and there you have a beautiful summer smoky eye. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up. Leave comments below on other videos you would like me to record. And right now, let's get right into this beautiful summer smoky eye. I'm actually going to grab my feline, which is a matte cold pencil. I'm actually going to apply this color right on the inner borderline and push it backwards and forwards until you see the colors actually starting to be evenly distributed then you're going to actually go to the upper lash line and just completely draw a ring around the eye this is actually going to mark your territory for your heavier eyeshadow colors to to lie and once you have that on as thick as you can possibly get it I'm going to grab me a dual fiber brush and start to blend that eyeliner out it doesn't matter at this point if it's actually starting to bleed technically you do want it to bleed you're beginning the first parameters of your smoky eye so allow it to bleed out just a little bit but definitely want it to be more controlled we're not going to fan this one out too far on the side because at the end we are going to kind of create a little bit of a wing and um, so you just really want to mark your territory it will make the eyes appear bigger so just kind of blend that out mark your parameters let's go into the Anastasia palette and I'm actually going to start settling the shade called buttery right underneath the eyebrow this is actually going to allow me to anchor that brow it's going to make sure that I don't take any of my darker shadows up too high into the brow we definitely want to allow the brow to have its own time to shine and then we want to allow the colors to rotate around the eyeball itself next I'm actually going to grab me a, a larger fluffy brush um, and I'm going to push that into the shade called Dusty Rose, which is another Anastasia color. It tends to be more of a mauveish color, so if you're not working out, out of the Anastasia palette, don't be alarmed. Actually, just get you something that's going to be kind of a neutral pink, kind of a mauve shade, and just kind of work that color in. I have seen this done with some browns that actually works really, really well, but we want to kind of keep this the colors looking a little bit more springy, so I'm actually using a Dusty Rose shade. And just continue to blend that around. Next, I'm actually going to pop in the color called Blue Velvet. The Blue Velvet is a very, very intense color, but just remember we've already applied down the cold pencil, so it's not going to be as dark as the cold pencil, and just kind of blend that into your outer V. Next, I'm actually going to grab the shade called Aren't You Fancy. The Aren't You Fancy is a beautiful orange tangerine shade, and I'm actually going to align that in from the inner waterline all the way to like the middle of the eye, and just kind of push that color on. What it's going to do is start to settle the black cold pencil, but it's going to give us a little bit more grab on the next eyeshadow that we're going to lie down. Next, I'm actually going to grab my Kiko palette. This is the beautiful Street Glam palette that one of my great friends actually brought me back from Italy when he was there and he said he looked at the palette and knew that it was me and he was absolutely right I'm actually going to grab a shade that looks very very closely to like one of the electric blues out of the electric palette so if you guys don't have this palette don't worry I'm going to actually leave some um, complimentary shades in my description box so make sure that you actually view that but I'm actually going to just lie down a little bit of electric blue and pop that on the inner the middle part of the eye Next, I'm actually going to insert a little bit of a beautiful iridescent green, and I'm going to put that on the inner part of the eye, the inner um, V. And I am using a synthetic concealer brush. It tends to lie shadows that have a little bit more fallout. It tends to lie them a little bit better. I did miss my brush with my, um, my Infallible Spray by L'Oreal. Some of you that have the matte thick spray, that works great, and the Urban Decay Spray as well. These are very equal products I believe so just kind of moisten your brush to actually apply that color next I'm actually going to start to create the smoke just I want to go back into either a black or maybe even the blue so I believe I actually grabbed the artist palette again and I went right back into it with the blue velvet and start to smoke out the bottom lash line and continue to smoke that out I'm going to alternate between the unicorn shade and the punch fuchsia and continue just to blend those out and smoke those underneath just to kind of create a nice variance of color. I'm going to grab my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and actually going to put this on a Makeup Forever like a bulk brush. And I'm actually going to pop that onto inner, the inner V of my eye.
this will really allow that space to really, really open up because the inner part of the eye is actually going to sparkle. Now, this step is going to be optional. I am going to create a little bit of a wing, and although the smoky eye is very, very dominant here, by creating a little bit of a wing, it still gives it a little bit more edge, a little bit more currentness than a standard smoky eye. So, of course, I'm actually going to grab my NYC, my liquid eyeliner, and just make the smallest of the tail on the end and drop that uh, wing right on the inside of the eye. Now, of course, this look is definitely not going to be complete without adding lashes. I'm actually using my Kiss Lashes um, number 11. I did double these lashes up, and I'm just going to adhere them here. But, of course, before I apply the lashes, I'm actually going to coat my lashes with mascara. My favorite mascara at the moment right now is the Colossal Lash Mascara by Maybelline. I think it's an absolutely favorite mascara. And, of course, after I apply the lashes, I'm actually going to just go ahead and pop some of that mascara on top of the lashes to make them look even more dramatic. Make sure that you do give a generous coat of mascara to your bottom lash line. Clean up any fallout. Right now I'm actually going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder just to clean up the fallout. And I'm going to pop on a little bit of gloss on the Sad Girl Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm actually going to apply a little bit of the Sunset Strip, which is a beautiful, corally, sparkly lip gloss. But it really does blend well with the Sad Girl Lipstick. It kind of gives it a little bit more sparkle. Make sure that you highlight your cheekbones. And there you have a beautiful, glamorous, smoky eye for the summer. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to follow me on Instagram at love underscore Kiani to receive daily beauty tips from me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, click the link in the down bar. And thanks to all of my brand new subscribers. We finally hit 4,000 subscribers, which this smoky eye should actually be in honor of you. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.